a business magnate, an investor, an engineer, an inventor, and now a billionaire, the CEO of SpaceX and Tesla Motors seems to be everywhere all at once, pushing all kinds of amazing and incredible new technologies. Elon Musk is the second entrepreneur in the Silicon Valley, the first being James H. Clark, who managed to create three companies with a market capital of more than $1 billion. PayPal, SpaceX, and Tesla Motors. He has dedicated himself to make discoveries about space and alternative technologies and plays by a different set of rules and does so successfully. One can't help but notice the distinctive traits of Elon Musk which are perseverance, critical thinking, accurate self-analysis and the most important one, hard work. He works for almost 80 to 100 hours a week. From being bullied in school to being one of the most interesting men in tech, here are the milestones of Musk's career that makes him one of the leading inventor and business tycoon in the world. Musk was born on June 28, 1971 in Pretoria, South Africa. Musk has often described his upbringing as terrible due to the constant bullying and torture he faced at school. In an interview, he said, They got my best friend to lure me out of hiding so they could beat me up. And that hurt. For a number of years, there was no respite. You get chased around by gangs at school who tried to beat the shit out of me. And then I'd come home and it would just be awful there as well. But Musk found solace when he was introduced to programming via the Commodore VIC-20, an inexpensive home computer. Soon he became proficient enough and at the mere age of 12, he created Blaster, a video game in the style of Space Invaders and sold it for $500. At the age of 17, Elon immigrated to Canada and stayed with his mother's relatives. After two years of studying at Queen's University, Musk finally moved to USA where he got scholarship from the University of Pennsylvania. Even in college, Musk showed signs of entrepreneurship when he and his friend rented out a 10-bedroom frat house and turned it into an official nightclub. Having degrees in physics and economics, Elon relocated from Pennsylvania to California to pursue a PhD in Applied Physics at Stanford University. But after two days, he left the graduate school and together with his brother, Kimball Musk, he created his first IT company, Zip2. When the internet was experiencing a period of rapid growth and development, Musk was one of the first ones to earn fortune by creating a platform where newspaper biggies like New York Times and Chicago Tribune could offer additional commercial services to their customers. In 1999, the biggest search engine at that time, Alta Vista, brought Zip2 for $307 million in cash, out of which Elon received 7% of the sale, amounting to $22 million. In the same year, using his $10 million, Elon Musk started his own online banking company, X.com, when the electronic payment facilities was just gaining popularity. Within a year, X.com merged with a rival company, Confinity, that was being run by Peter Thiel and Max Levchin, and in 2001, it was renamed PayPal, and Elon became the chairman and chief executive officer of the company. In 2004, Musk invested $70 million in Tesla Motors, which was co-founded by Martin Eberhard and Mark Tarpening, and became the chairman of the board of directors. Under the leadership of Musk, Tesla continued to grow and had investments from the likes of Google founders Larry Page and Serge Ibn and massed more than $100 million of investments. By 2008, the company was almost on the verge of bankruptcy when Musk fired Eberhard and took the rein in his own hands. With effective cost-cutting, acute leadership skills, the company's first electric car, Tesla Roadster, saw the world in 2008 and sold over 2,500 cars in 31 countries. On June 29, 2010, Tesla became the second car manufacturing company after Ford 
to get listed on Nasdaq and by 2015, one share of Tesla Motors cost $220.99 and the total market capital reached $27.44 billion. On March 31, 2016, Elon Musk unveiled the five-seater car Tesla Model 3. This is the most affordable Tesla car yet, with the price tag starting at $35,000 and is considered to be the future of car travel. Musk started Tesla to help solving the consumption of energy in a sustainable manner. He had said, obviously Tesla is about helping solve the consumption of energy in a sustainable manner. But you need the production of energy in a sustainable manner. Hence, to solve the problem of production, Musk came up with the idea of Solar City, which his cousins Lyndon and Peter Rive co-founded in 2006. Solar City received a lot of criticism from the industry leadership, claiming that it will never turn into an efficient business model, but Musk proved them wrong as Solar City entered the IPO market on December 10, 2012. By February 13, 2015, the stock price was $57.60 and the total market capital of the company was a staggering $5.53 billion. Also, the company is building a mega factory in Buffalo, New York that would be three times the size of the largest solar planet in the United States. Analysts consider that Musk's assurance in the company's prospects was one of the primary reasons of the Solar City's success and Wall Street started calling the phenomenon as the Musk Effect. Musk was always into space exploration technologies and the idea of colonizing other planets always excited him. So Musk started a company that would build spaceships and rockets at affordable prices and in 2002, Musk founded SpaceX. It was evident from Musk's $100 million investment in the company that SpaceX was not only about the delivery of astronauts and cargo into orbit, but was created with the ultimate goal of enabling people to live on other planets. He had once said, I would like to die on Mars, just not on impact. With multiple failed launches between 2006 to 2008, Falcon 1 rocket was successful and became the first privately funded liquid fuel rocket to put a satellite into Earth's orbit. Musk and SpaceX continued to create history as in 2012, SpaceX Dragon docked with the International Space Station and became the first commercial company to ever do so. The genius of Musk was seen once more in 2016 when the company was able to successfully land the first stage of the Falcon rocket on a drone ship at sea. Elon Musk has certainly showed that SpaceX can potentially reuse rockets in future, saving costs and is on the way of making colonization of other planets, especially Mars, a reality. While traveling with venture investor and entrepreneur Shervin Peshawar, Musk got into talking about Hyperloop, which is an idea of moving vehicles at super high speed in low pressure tubes. And on August 12, 2013, on Chauvin's insistence, Musk published a blog about Hyperloop and a 58-page presentation on the structure and function of it. The presentation was presented to then-President of America Barack Obama, whose science advisor said that the idea was feasible, to which Obama said, let me know how can I help you. Though Elon Musk is not officially involved in Hyperloop 1, it was his idea that would potentially change our way of traveling. Elon Musk has been very vocal about the coming age of super artificial intelligence. The tech pioneer and billionaire has made it clear that AI could be the end of humanity. In an interview, he had expressed his concerns by saying, I have exposure to the most cutting-edge AI and I think people should be really concerned about it. I keep sounding the alarm bell, but until people see robots going down the street killing people, they don't know how to react because it seems so ethereal. So, to combat these growing concerns, Musk co-founded OpenAI in 2015 along with Sam Altman. It's a non-profit organization that aims to promote and develop friendly AI in ways which is beneficial to the humanity as a whole. Musk has not only created a company to create safe AI, but also started a company called Neuralink, which works towards developing ultra-high bandwidth brain-machine interfaces to connect humans and computers. In June, Musk said that Neuralink is a priority after much more demanding commitments to his automotive and rocket companies.
In December 2016, while stuck in traffic, Elon tweeted, Traffic is driving me nuts. I'm going to build a tunnel boring machine and just start digging. And that's how Elon actually formed the boring company. Musk wants to build many layers of tunnels so that any level of traffic can be addressed. The company did its first big dig from Musk's SpaceX headquarters in Hawthorne for two miles. This will be used for new forms of transport like the Hyperloop. The company wants to create electric skates which will have passengers travel directly to the destination without exiting the vehicle and the company has already done the first testing on the car elevator. Elon Musk is the 21st century industrialist who brings the most fantastic ideas into life. Elon Musk's life story shows that all the success that he has achieved was thanks to his perseverance, hard work and of course thanks to his absolute faith in all his projects.